riding through St. Peter's Square in Vatican City, reaching out to touch the children held aloft for his blessing. Suddenly, shots from the crowd. According to eyewitnesses, the Pope froze in shock for a second and then slumped to the seat of his Jeep. Our correspondent in Rome is Bill Blakemore. The Pope had already been driving slowly through the crowd for some 15 minutes in his open Jeep, especially designed to get him as close to as many people as possible, when, passing the same point in the square for the second time, the shots were fired. John Paul slumped into the arms of his private secretary, was rushed back out of St. Peter's Square, past the stunned pilgrims and tourists who moments before had been crowding close for a touch, a word, or a smile. So now imagine yourself in that situation, imagine what it looked like, the village without so many houses around, very narrow street, the path actually that was more the goat path, the people used to go that way up to bring the sheep back home and their goats. There was a soccer field just across the street where the boys were playing and for the girls the only time where they could rest a little bit, it was actually on a feast day. So it was on the feast day on June the 24th when two girls met. It was Mirjana uh, Dragicevic who came from Sarajevo. She stayed with her grandparents here during the summer vacation. And the other girl was Ivanka Ivankovic. These two girls decided to take a walk uh, to leave the town. So everybody was very anxious about having a holiday because for the children it meant that they were not supposed to work in the fields. Usually children were working together with their parents in tobacco fields, in the vineyards. And on a feast day, it was the proposition to go to church first and then after the mass to have a family lunch. And in the afternoon, children usually had some free time. For the boys, it was of course a favorite soccer game. And for the girls, it was to talk, walk and spend some time with each other. So these two girls met and they decided to leave the village. You have to imagine the village without any of these houses. It was abandoned, there was no parking like today. They walked this way, the other girl wanted to bring sheep back home. And at one moment, uh, Mirjana, the girl from Sarajevo, was sitting on the rock. There was a rock here on the side of the road. Uh, and Ivanka was facing her, talking to her, which means Ivanka was facing the hill while she was talking to Mirjana. While they were talking, chatting a little bit, Mirjana wanted to console Ivanka because her mom died two months before that day and it is the first time that they met after um, Ivanka's mom's death. So there were many things that, that the, these young girls were talking about. In one moment while they were talking, Ivanka just stopped. She looked at the hill and she said to Mirjana, Look at over there, it's Blessed Mother on the hill. For Mirjana, it was the first time to hear about the possibility that Blessed Mother appears on Earth. We have to know the background. In that time, we lived in a communist country and parents try not to talk about these extraordinary things which might be interesting for the children. Maybe the children would spread the word in the school and it would be very dangerous for them and for the parents as well. So the religious life was strong but based on the prayer only and children were not familiar with Lourdes, Fatima, Guadalupe, with any other apparitions. For Mirjana it was very strange you know, what she had heard from Ivanka and then in one moment she thought maybe it's just, you know, hallucination is the consequence of her mom's death. Who knows what is happening? And she even thought if she would turn around, she would commit the sin. So Mirjana didn't want to have a look. She even, as a sign of a protest, left Ivanka. But again, in a few minutes, she came back. She said something strange brought her up. She looked the same direction where Ivanka was looking and she saw Blessed Mother as well. As a girl, the first thought came to her mind how someone dressed like that could climb the hill because the woman that they saw was in a long grey dress with a white veil and there was a beautiful crown of stars that was illuminating the uh, Operation Hill, today's Operation Hill. So they were like, you know, impressed 
even from that far distance, how someone dressed like that could be over there on the mountain. They were rather scared. Vitska, the other girl, was looking for Miriana and Ivanka, and when she saw these two girls, she asked what happened? Why do they look so pale? Did they see the snake? Uh, Vitska even took the stick in the case that there is a snake she could hit. But they pointed over there to the mountain and Vitska was so afraid. So we can see again a typical reaction of a child. She took off her shoes and ran away barefoot thinking she'll run faster without any shoes. While she was running back, she met two boys, Ivan Ivankovic and Ivan Dragicevic. And these boys were uh, going back to the friend's house because they wanted to watch the soccer, the, the basketball game. And it was a little break in between, like 15 minutes, they had some time to grab something to eat and so on. So um, Vitska saw them and asked them to come back with her to see what the other girls saw. So it was kind of strange for them. They knew Vitska from the school and they said, you know, she was the one who was fighting with boys. She looked completely different in normal circumstances. But at this time, Vitska was very afraid. She was almost crying, begging them to come with her and go over there to the place where the girls were standing. So just to get rid of Vitska, they decided to go with her and they came here to the same point. Um, at that moment, the other girls pointed where Blessed Mother was standing, but the boys were so afraid. Even today, girls give them hard time. They say, like every brave man, you run away. But it's a typical reaction of a child. They even didn't run, uh, run down the street, but through the bushes. They were so afraid. They didn't know what was going on. On that day, Ivan, for example, didn't talk to his parents about his experiences. The other girls came back to the village and they said what they uh, had seen. But, you know, the people were giving different comments like, you know, who knows what you have seen? Maybe it's a shepherd on the mountain. And then you could hear the comments, yes, it's a city girl, you see no respect for God. The others were saying, yes, it's a girl without mother in a family. You know, who knows what is happening with that. So actually no one completely believed in the story of the apparition. There were some other people uh, in the fields who noticed some changes in the nature. Some of them noticed uh, some light on the mountain, then the miracle of the sun. The sun was kind of strange. So they were talking about this and the uh, grandmoms were the smart ones. So they said, let's go home and spend the whole night in prayer. You, you have to pray, you know, ask for the forgiveness. But they really spent the night in prayer. They were so afraid what was going to happen. On the next day, the word was spread already. There were people coming here, you know, to hear more about this event. And then they convinced the, the children to go up to the place where they saw Blessed Mother standing. This is exactly what they did, but they didn't go um, all together. They were separated, going from different places. So visionaries were not together in one group. When they got to the certain level, they saw Blessed Mother standing in front of them and only the children saw her. So they started running and uh, they approached Our Lady. The other people didn't know what was really happening, so they couldn't catch up with the children. We have to know that at that time there was no any path. Imagine now to go up the hill straight like this. There was no path and you have to find your way. So the children met six of them in front of Our Lady and the other people came later on. They noticed that the children were kneeling they were talking, opening the mouth, but no one was able to hear a word because it was the moment of the apparition. One of the greatest signs was uh, the sign Mir written on the sky between Apparition Hill and the Cross Mountain. So now imagine on the sky, Mir means peace. So thousands of people have seen that. And the word spread so fast, people were coming from everywhere.